Hello and welcome to English Country Life and welcome to the kitchen. Slightly different video today. Whilst we would love to grow all our own food, for some foods we don't. It might be we haven't got the space, might be we haven't got the facilities, it might be our climate is wrong. But we love the food, so we buy it. That's the case this week. I'm a fan of pineapple. And these are on sale this week, so I've bought five. And I'm going to dehydrate those pineapples. And there's three reasons for that. One, it's absolutely delicious. Dehydrated pineapple is stunning because all the flavour concentrates into a really small space. And it's like, it's like a candy. It's just gorgeous. Two, I get to buy a lot when the item's cheap and save money. And three, it makes storage much easier. I don't want a fridge full of pineapple for months on end. Dehydrated pineapple, shelf stable for well over a year. Doesn't need freezing, doesn't need refrigeration. Works really well. And in another odd departure for me, I'm gonna use a gadget. Years ago, this odd looking instrument of torture came free with a single pineapple. And I was bemused, but I thought, well, I'll give it a go. And it's a pineapple corer and peeler. Really strange looking thing, but actually works really well. You can buy them in fancy steels and all sorts of things. We were lucky enough not to have to, but you can get them for a few pounds. So if you haven't got one, don't be frightened to go to look to see how much they cost. So I'm gonna prep these five pineapples and I'd like you to see how well this device works and how we dry them. Let's crack on. So, fast prep of a pineapple. Take the top off. Take the bottom off. Stand it on end. Line your peeler corer up dead centre and twist. And what the peeler corer is doing cutting off the skin, removing the core and cutting all the flesh into a spiral all in one go. Now once you've done that it's a bit tricky to remove but with this model I take the handle off, take the skin off oops, and then turn upside down take the flesh off. And you can probably see that all your pineapple is just cut into a spiral. If you want pineapple rings, take your knife, make one cut through to the centre, all the way to the base. And every ring just lifts off. If you want segments as we do here, it's just a matter of a few more cuts. And you get lots and lots and lots of pineapple segments in moments. Those five pineapples have fitted on four trays of the Economy Andrew James Dehydrator that we're trying out this year. So if pineapples were very cheap or you wanted to do as many as you can, given it comes with six trays, you could get eight to ten large pineapples in a single run without any extra trays. I'm going to set this to 65 centigrade and I'm going to put it on initially for 24 hours because those pineapples segments are really juicy. So it's going to take a while to dry. So they'll be done sometime tomorrow. That took a lot longer than I expected. Nearly 36 hours, but they were very juicy pineapples, which is a good thing. When you dehydrate something that's ripe and juicy and full of flavour, all that flavour concentrates down into a tiny area. So when you chew a small piece of it, you get a flavour explosion. It's fantastic. Five large juicy pineapples in there. And in the winter on a dark cold day, they're going to be fantastic. Most of the food preserving we do is our own produce. But there are times, you know, I'm going to be honest, where something's a little bit unusual, something's a bit of a bargain, is absolutely lovely. And why not? No one's saying you can only preserve food you grow. You know, preserve it for whatever reason suits you. We barely scratched the surface of food preservation and if you want to see more please let us know in the comments what interests you. Do you want to see canning? Do you want to see salting? 
Do you want to see sand clamping? Do you want to know what sand clamping is? We could go on. But there are huge amounts that we can cover on this topic. If this one has been interesting, please give us a thumbs up. Do it now. Um, subscribe to the channel down below and you'll see every time we publish a new video. It's been great hanging out with you and we really hope you come back and see us soon. You take care.